Hi everyone! I hope you guys are doing really well. I am so so excited for today's video. Just recently a bunch of wonderful YouTube ladies did a huge six-way collab where they took a fantastic what they called iconic photo of them in New York City back in the fall and they created eyeshadow palettes based on either each other's personalities or the color scheme of that actual image and some of them gave each other two shades, some did a whole entire quad. It was just a fantastic idea and a wonderful way to celebrate their friendship and to celebrate each other while they cannot actually travel and see each other in person. I thought it was a really really fun collab and because I was lucky enough to meet three of those six ladies, I really really wanted to do something kind of similar in honor of them because in some ways, and I guess I'll get into it as I talk about each one, but in some ways these ladies really inspired me to start my channel. They were other creators that inspired the idea behind my channel channel, the fact that I am doing the no buy year for this entire year of 2020. And I talked about those creators a little bit in my very, very first video when I announced my new channel and announced that I'm doing a no buy year. So if you're curious about who those creators are and just how this all came into being, I'll go ahead and link my initial first video. But I think a huge part and kind of that final push to get the gumption to do this was this opportunity to meet not just one creator but actually six at the same exact time and just to get to see how many wonderful people are on here on this platform to get to see them interact with each other and to get to see these virtual friendships that actually felt so easy and so natural in person a few of them had not met before in person and yet it seemed like they have known each other forever and I think that camaraderie and that mutual respect for each other really, really got me inspired to finally go ahead and jump on this platform. Even though I am the least technologically savvy person I know, even though I don't have really any makeup skills other than what I have learned through YouTube, and even though I had absolutely no gear and technically, according to most people on here, probably still don't. I have a small ring light and I have an iPhone. After meeting these ladies, I finally jumped in and did the research and I finally realized that I don't have to have all these bells and whistles to get started and that really all it takes is determination obviously, hard work, carving out the time for it, and just a lot of heart and a lot of excitement for whatever it is, for whatever content that they are creating. So this has been a long enough intro. I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the actual video. So if you'd like to see the eyeshadow palette that I created in honor of these six beautiful, intelligent, strong, and just absolutely fantastic ladies, then please keep on watching. All right, so let me give you a little bit of a backstory. Sometime in October, I wanna say, New York City was having the Ipsy Live event. From what I gather, it's kind of like a convention for beauty creators, where they get to meet other creators, they get to network, and they get to meet some brands, and it's just a fun gathering that can hopefully also bring on some business connections. As I was seeing more and more ladies announce that they were coming to New York, one of my favorite ladies on here, Samantha March, announced that she was going to have a meet and greet in Manhattan, in New York City, in Bryant Park. And it was actually going to be a meet and greet with her and three other friends of hers who were also coming to New York, Makeup Molly, Ashley Clady, and Kelly Gooch. And then the other really cool thing of this meet and greet is in the midst of it, Angelica Nyquist, obviously also here on YouTube, and Karen Harris decided to surprise the other gals and crack their meet and greet. The initial meeting of Angelica and Samantha March was something I don't think I can ever describe and to this day I'm absolutely kicking myself for not pulling out my phone and documenting that initial moment. I, for some reason, didn't even put the two and two together. I didn't realize that they had never met in person because both Angelica and Samantha had talked about each other so much online that for some reason I was sure that at some place, in some town, at some other beauty convention, they had already met. And it turns out, 
they hadn't. So I saw Angelica and Karen Harris and I even remember my exact words. I was like, oh my gosh, look where it is or look who is coming. And Samantha spun around and all I remember is just like the two gals going absolutely crazy with excitement and of course hugging and it was just such a cool moment and I just wish, wish I documented it for all of us. I mean, for them too. I bet that they probably would have enjoyed seeing that moment over and over again. But in the midst of those seconds, I just didn't think to do that. Yeah, so this meet and greet of four became a meet and greet with six ladies and the rest of us who were there to meet them were just thrilled. I felt like pretty much everybody knew who all six gals were. And even if we didn't, everybody made each other feel so at ease. It was just such a fun afternoon. Just such a totally joyous occasion. And I I almost didn't go. I don't know why. I guess, you know, it just required me to get out of my comfort zone. I feel like as I get older, I get less and less social. <laughs> Anybody else? Um, there was just something about that day where I was like, yeah, I really, really want to meet them. But it requires me to put on makeup because I felt like I'm going to a beauty meet and greet. Like, how can I not put on makeup? And, you know, I wanted to look nice. And I'm just so glad I made that last minute decision. I just remember saying, you know what, just go for it. I am just so, so glad that I did that. With that backstory, what we're really here for is to create an eyeshadow palette for all these gals. I'm gonna pick two shades per lady. I'm not gonna include myself. I know in their collab they did, but I just wanted to kind of pay homage to all of them. I do have to put out a disclaimer. I don't have a lot of single shadows. It's something I've always wanted to get into, but I feel like as more of a consumer than a creator up to now, I've always been drawn to color stories that are already created for me. And there is something about the extra ad bonus of having a pretty package. So I do not have a lot of single eyeshadows. Some of these are going to be little cheats, I guess you could say. Let me show you everything I have. I've already pulled out the colors that are for the gals, so they're going to be missing from these shadows, but I have a Makeup Geek palette. There's only, I think, one or two shades in here that are not Makeup Geek. And then there's been a bunch of shadows that I have depotted over the years including a bunch of my wet and wild shadows. Then I have a couple of MAC shadows. I have a Stila shadow, I have a Buxom shadow. All of these have been depotted from one place or another. But I also have a Vizart, a Viziart, a Vizart Theory palette in Minx. This has a couple of shades missing right now because these easily pop out. They're meant to be single shadows. If you guys know this palette, you know which two eyeshadows are missing from here. So let's jump in. This is the eyeshadow palette that we are talking about today. There are two shadows per each of the ladies. And if you want to go ahead and guess who is who, let's go through the list of the gals. We've got Samantha March, Angelica Nyquist, Karen Harris, Ashley Clady, Makeup Molly, and Kelly Gooch. So if you want to take a look at this and tell me who you think is who. So we've got these two eyeshadows for one gal, these two, these two, these two, these two, and these two. So let's call this one, two, three, four, five, six. If you want to guess down below who is who, pause this video and do it right now. I'd love to see your answers. I'm going to start left to right and then go down this bottom row. Right over here, this gorgeous multi-chrome green to blue to gold to all sorts of colors and this gorgeous deep red berry maroon. These are the shades I have picked out for Karen Harris. This shade, this green shade, this, I don't know if you guys can see the shift. It is stunning. This is a shadow from Divina. This was one of the last purchases I made before my no buy year. Really wanted to get into multi-chromes and duochromes and 2019 I feel like was the year where a lot of YouTubers were talking about those types of shadows. So this is in Parthenos. 
and this was one of the three Davina shadows I had ordered on Black Friday and all three are in this palette because I could not include them. In fact, I'm trying two of them today for the first time on my eyes, so that was really exciting. Uh, you'll see a demo for this look at the end of this video. Karen is like what I call the equal opportunity gal. She loves color, she loves her greens, but she also loves nudes and of course in her case especially nudes that show up on darker skin tones. That is why for the next color, I went with Makeup Geek Bitten because I feel like this is something she could use as either a transition shade or to deepen. This is Makeup Geek Bitten. I thought these two would first of all go really, really well together. Also, I think Bitten would show up on her very nicely. I feel like mine's not quite as deep as it once was because these shadows are the old Makeup Geek shadows and you know, mine are quite old, but I still think it's a gorgeous, gorgeous shade and very versatile. And I really thought Karen would enjoy those two shades. Karen is, if you don't know Karen Harrison, if you don't follow her channel, she's like this perfect balance of somebody who who is incredibly kind and incredibly real at the same time. She's not always like, oh, I love this brand. And even if she tells you like it is, it doesn't ever come across as mean, as bashing. Like she just is very easygoing and will just lay it out. She's just so warm. She's so friendly. She's so carefree and easygoing and she posts so much She has from what I understand a business with her husband. They work full-time and she manages to still post I feel like it's daily. I have never actually I think looked to see exactly how many videos Karen usually posts a week But I feel like it is legit daily. I have no idea how she does it I'm over here barely keeping up with my once a week post if that I just I don't know I think all or most of these gals also are huge animal lovers which is really fun because their insta stories even sometimes their videos include some of their animals so i know karen definitely has a bit of a zoo uh, but it's an adorable one and i love keeping up with her and her animals on her insta stories she's really active on insta stories it's a lot of fun so yeah if you haven't checked out karen harris please please go ahead and do that. I think you love her channel and I hope that she likes the two eyeshadows that I have selected for her from my very limited collection of single shadows. All right, everybody else after this, I feel like is primarily a neutral girl. Like, you know, with a splash of color here and there, but mostly these girls all love their neutrals, except for Angelica Nyquist. Angelica is all about color. In fact, she recently redid her channel art and I absolutely love it. And honestly, like a lot of these shades I feel like would be interchangeable. Like I could totally see Angelica using this green and even this bitten shade from Makeup Geek. I know she likes Makeup Geek. I know she also really, really likes dark jewel tone mattes, especially these ready colors. But you know, as I said, I have limited eyeshadow resources. So I really need to think outside of the box and kind of think, well, from what I have, if I really do have to divide it, what can I designate to each gal? So Angelica is this no-nonsense, fiery woman. She says it like it is. She has this great unapologetic humor. Her Sunday going on the makeup wish list or not series is just so fun. Some of the things she says about the products and the brands will have you rolling with laughter under the table. She will just say what comes to her mind and she will do it unapologetically and she will do it hilariously and I I adore that about her. She creates the most stunning colorful looks. Angelica knows her fashion and I love watching those videos of hers as well. So anyway, she's she's quite the firecracker. So because she's quite the firecracker, I decided to give her fiery colors. She got this Divina in, is it Cygnus? Cygnus? I don't know. I didn't speak Latin guys or Greek or whatever that is. This is another gorgeous multi-chrome. Sometimes it's purple, sometimes it's red. Sometimes it's gold. It is just such a beautiful color. And then the other color that I love and I thought would work well for Angelica is this color from Makeup Geek called Mai Tai. You know Angelica loves peachy highlights, but I feel like she also does like it on the eyes at times. I mean, I know usually she goes for bolder like jewel tone mattes and bright colors. It is 
also a duo chrome and i just love this color i don't know if she's tried it or if she likes it or not but i have a feeling she would enjoy that one those are my two shades for angelica newchrist next we have these two lovely shades and these are for makeup molly now molly is somebody i do know the least but i've started watching her videos since meeting her i really really have been enjoying her content i love how straight to the point she is i love how she usually when she starts a video just really jumps in to what the video is about she's got really 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 fun instagram videos she does a lot of videos on there they're just a blast like she'll put some really out there hilarious products on there some of them are like almost gimmicky but it's so fun to watch she just seems super nice i mean i i didn't get to talk to her too much during the meet and greet but the little bit that i did i mean she was just so warm she just has this very approachable personality and does a lot of great reviews on her channel i mean i i think you guys would absolutely love her if you don't know molly she is a new mom she was actually quite pregnant at the New York meet and greet, as was Ashley Clady. They had their babies quite close together, so that was a lot of fun. They both have like the most adorable kiddos, and I've noticed since watching Molly that even though she definitely does some colorful looks, she very often wears these fantastic bright bold lips. But I noticed, and I don't know this for a fact, I hope I'm not wrong, but from all the videos that I've been seeing, I feel like the colors that that she gravitates to a lot are pinks or anything kind of in that facility whether it's a little bit more lilac purple or a little more coral but there's always this constant presence of pinks and i wanted to give her something like that so we've got this great color that she could use as a transition both of these are wet and wild shadows and i love them enough to depot them and save them because a lot of my white and white shadows i've decluttered years ago and these were some that i really wanted to make sure that I still have in my collection. The shimmery shade, which is gorgeous, was from the Walking on Eggshells trio. I need to start swatching like closer to my back of my hand. What am I doing? All right, can you guys see that? I hope so. I feel like even just with that, like a simple look with this pinky coral as a transition and then this stunning, stunning shimmer shade on the lid, this would be such a molly look. An easy, mommy, no time, no nonsense, just gorgeous, gorgeous eye look. I hope molly agrees. <laughs> and ladies, if these do not do you justice. I am so sorry. Next up we have the lady that started it all for me as far as meet and greet and just discovering a lot of these other gals. And that is one of my favorites here, Samantha March. Samantha March has made me buy a bunch of various products over the years. I have followed her for the longest time when she was back at her old house with her red wall that I actually remember really enjoying, but then she repainted it to this really great like grayish color and now she's in her new house and I've just seen her transform and grow and grow and grow and now she has a fantastic offer collab that if I wasn't on a no buy I would have picked up in a heartbeat she's a writer and funnily enough I was watching a video of hers this morning I'm filming this on a Wednesday really late night and I was supposed to film this video on Sunday or Monday and both of those days I had finally social distancing plans for the first time. So I didn't end up filming this video when I was supposed to, but I already planned this. I already laid out these shades. And this morning I was watching Samantha's Will I Buy It video, which she posts every single Wednesday. And she mentioned how she has one shadow look on. And as I was watching, I kept like trying to figure out what shadow is that? What shadow is that? I was like, that looks so beautiful and so familiar. And for lack of a better word, because we were talking about this iconic photo that inspired this all and these ladies that are kind of iconic to me because they've inspired me so much. I was like, that shade, it just looks like an old school iconic shade that I know. And I decided to check her description box. 
And lo and behold, the shadow that Samantha had on her eyes was the shadow that I selected for her is one of the two shades. And that is Makeup Geek Creme Brulee. Now, in Samantha's video when she created a palette, she selected uh, two other shades. One of them actually is in this palette, just not for Samantha. And I have both shades, and that would of course have been a very easy cop-out because clearly Samantha loves them. So I could have just taken those two shades and put them in this palette as is. But I wanted to do something from like my eyes, from the way I see Samantha. She's known for her nudes. And in case you're not familiar with Samantha, just you know, she's a total girl boss. She posts a ton. She, she has gone from seven days a week posting now down to four, but that's because she also now has her own podcast and she's a writer and she's constantly posting on Instagram and she reads and does book reviews and I'm sure there's like 33 other things that Samantha does in her sleep that we're not even aware of. She is the most positive person. She is so stunning. She's got the most gorgeous green eyes. She has the cutest dog, Aries, that if, if that dog was not in Iowa, I would probably steal. Samantha, just so you know, I'm in New York, I'm far enough where you don't have to worry, but if we were neighbors, it would take everything, everything in my power not to steal your dog. But the reason for why, with all of that, like there are so many colors that could embody Samantha, but she loves her nudes. And I've been watching her for years, back like in the glory days of YouTube when creme brulee, creme brulee, like makeup geek creme brulee was, everybody knew what makeup geek creme brulee was. So somehow to me that embodies Samantha because it's nude, but it's not basic. It's strong and girl bossy without being in your face because it's a nude. It's a fantastic transition color. It's a fantastic one shadow look. And if you don't believe me, go watch Samantha's latest Will I Buy It? And you will see what I mean. Can you see it? I don't know what I'm doing. There it is. Isn't that just perfect? I know not for Angelica, she would never wear that probably. But for the rest of us, well, maybe not for Karen either because I don't know, will this even show up on you, Karen? I have no idea. Okay, but because Samantha is much more than that, I mean, yes, she might wear nudes, but she's got this sassy side to her and she's got those gorgeous green eyes I just mentioned that as she herself constantly says, look glorious with purple. So I had to give her my third Davina shadow. This is in Starfire. It's not just purple. It has also a fiery red orange in there and a little bit of, is it green? I don't even know. And I have a feeling this would look so good on Sam. It's so shiny and I hope you guys are going to be able to see it. Let's see if I can do this. Can you see that? I'm like already at my elbow basically, but I wanted this palette to be on one arm. I might have to go up my wrist next. Those two shades are for Samantha. I hope you like them, Samantha, if you're watching this, because I love you, girl, and I really wanted to do right by you, and that meet and greet really meant the world to me, and you were the reason I came out, and all of these other ladies ended up also stealing my heart. Together, you guys really encouraged me without even realizing to do this. So thank you. All right, next we've got these two. These are the shades I selected for Kelly Gooch. Kelly also is one that can wear color and can wear her nudes equally beautifully. One of the things I love about Kelly is in my eyes, she's like this classic beauty. She's chic, she's soft-spoken, she's incredibly welcoming and warm. In the meet and greet, she had this uncanny ability to make you feel like you're her friend forever. She just has this ability to befriend and to include. I think I spent the most time talking to her. She's just so easy to communicate with. She is so intelligent and yet unassuming. I mean, I really, really loved meeting Kelly. She has the most gorgeous skin. She has the most glorious hair. And then especially when she self tans, she just glows. You know how some people are so beautiful. They almost feel like they're so far removed from 
anything you can possibly be or do. Kelly is that stunning, but somehow her personality just lures you in and you just feel very at ease. You don't, like her beauty doesn't stare you in the face and constantly remind you that it's there. I don't know if I'm making any sense and I mean that in the best possible way. And I feel like some of the most beautiful looks that I love on Kelly is actually when it's sultry and sexy. She had a period where she did a lot of bold colors and they look fantastic on her but somehow like when she goes back to just these cool neutral browns she just looks gorgeous in those types of colors so i chose this beautiful chocolatey mid-tone brown from the viseart palette and then grandstand from makeup geek i just thought first of all these two pair so nicely together and it could be like this fantastic monochromatic look that would look incredible on her, on her skin tone, with her eyes, with her hair, it would be to die for. Kelly, if you don't agree, I'm sorry, girl. But I think these two shades would just look so sexy and so sultry and so stunning. Um, she is also incredibly consistent and hardworking. For those of you that don't know Kelly, she does a lot of really thoughtful, creative videos on how to be frugal and realistic with your purchases, as actually do pretty much all these gals, maybe with the exception of Karen, who can be an enabler. Although this year, this girl has definitely toned down her purchases and I'm really loving her content she is on fire but I feel like Samantha and Kelly Angelica as well talks a lot about not buying things you don't need Ashley's been decluttering and really getting into that so I feel like there's definitely this whole movement here on YouTube which is why I thought it would actually be a nice time for me to come on board because I am definitely in a place where I don't want to be buying more because I'm overwhelmed with what I have and I can't really be buying more I can't afford to be buying more so I thought this this would be a great time for me to do a no by year just for my personal life and I really wanted to document it to hold me accountable and also to join this amazing community because of ladies like the ones I'm talking about today. For Ashley I selected these two shadows. This is Chickadee by Makeup Geek, one of my favorite shades for years and years. I feel like Ashley pulls off warm looks incredibly incredibly well. She's got stunning blue eyes and I feel like warm colors look so good on her. So there is Chickadee and then this other shade also from the Viseart palette I thought would give her some really amazing dimension. It's not a super shimmery shade but oh my gosh I wish I would have swatched that in front of you guys and just how buttery that is. I'm gonna do that again because it's worth seeing. So here's my hand and here's that shade. Isn't that amazing i just thought that ashley could really rock that color and that if she were just to use it even just like in the outer v or something it would really look beautiful on her ashley is so bubbly and so sweet and just so heartwarming. That's I think why Chickadee came to mind right away. She just has this brightness, this like sunshine about her, this very sunny personality. She's also a new mom. She's just so adorable. She's cute as a button. She's impossible not to love. She's got the cutest laugh. She always just looks so fresh and so understated. So I really wanted to give her colors that pack a punch, but that are not over the top. And this I thought is a great shade to add that dimension if she would want it and chickadee I just I don't know for some reason Ashley's laugh and her personality I just looked at my collection of single shadows and that was one of the first ones that jumped out at me so that is what we have for our eyeshadow palette of the wonderful ladies that I met I hope you think I did good <laughs> And I hope I mentioned everything about the gals that I wanted to. When I saw those different videos the girls were doing, creating these palettes for each other and themselves, I just had this urge instantly to do something like this, to honor the ladies that I met because I just it just brought back so many amazing memories from that day. And I would have loved to do the exact same video, including the other three ladies. This idea actually came from Amanda from Makeup Just For Fun, but I didn't get to meet her. That was later on that day or the next day. Amy from Amy Loves Makeup, who I watch 
all the time but again i didn't get to meet her and jen from jen lovers reviews all of these wonderful women i watch and support and love but i thought it would be more appropriate and more fun for me to do the six women that i actually got to meet i hope the other ladies don't take offense especially since this was amanda's idea i hope that it's okay that i am kind of borrowing it and putting my own spin i hope that you guys liked it i hope you will check out all those other ladies if you don't know any of them i will of course link all of their channels down below and i will try to also link their videos doing their palettes on the iconic photo that they are talking about i really hope that you ladies come back one day i still can't believe that we went out to lunch where we did the ladies kind of were like well you're from new york we need to be somewhere close to the ipsy live venue and honestly there was like nothing good there so I took them to some sort of a dive. I don't even know what that was. I mean, they were very nice. He said they liked it, but let's face it, not what I normally would have recommended. So next time you ladies are in New York, I owe you, ideally, I want you all to come to my house so I can make you specialized meals based on your preferences. And during this quarantine, I'm expanding my repertoire. My drinks menu is also expanding. I'm getting good. And if you don't trust my cooking, there's plenty of restaurants. Fingers crossed by then will be open and fully running and we can hopefully meet again. I would love that more than anything else. Again, thank you so much, so, so, so much for including me in that wonderful afternoon, for letting me overstay my welcome and hang out with you. So with that said, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye.